All glories to Srila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. All glories to Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. Madhya Chapter 11, Text 16. Ayay pranati kaila, prabhu kaila indana, duvijane prama veshe, kalena krandara. Upon meeting Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Roy offered his obeisances. The Lord embraced him, and both of them began to cry in a great ecstasy of love. Text 17. Raye Sange Prabhura Deki Sneha Vyavhara Sarva Bhakta Gane Ramane Haila Chamakara Translation Seeing Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's intimate dealings with Sri Ramananda Roy, all the devotees there were astonished. Text 18 Raya Kahe Tumara Agya Raja Ke Kahila Tumara Ichaya Raja Mura Vishaya Chadila. Translation Ramananda Roy said, I duly informed King Prapta Parudra of your order for me to retire from service. By your grace, the king was pleased to relieve me of these material activities. Purport Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested Ramananda Roy to retire from his government ship. And According to the Lord's desire, Ramananda Roy petitioned the king. The king was very pleased to give him relief, and thus Ramananda Roy retired from service and received a pension from the government. Text 19. Translation I said, Your Majesty, I am now not willing to engage in political activities. I desire only to stay at the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Kindly give me permission. Text 20. Tomara Namasuni Raja Andita Haila Asana hoite uti more alingana kaila. Translation. When I submitted this proposal, the king, immediately upon hearing your name, was very pleased. Indeed, he instantly arose from his throne and embraced me. Text 21. Tomara namasuni kaila maha prema vesha. Mora hoite dari kare uti vishesha. Translation, my dear Lord, as soon as the king heard your holy name, he was immediately overwhelmed by great ecstatic love. Catching my hand, he displayed all the symptoms of love. Text 22. Tomara ye vartana, tumi kaho sai vartana, nishintahana baja, chaitanyera charana. Translation. As soon as he heard my petition, he immediately granted me a pension without reductions. Thus, the king granted me a full salary as a pension and requested me to engage without anxiety in the service of your lotus feet. Text 23. Translation. Then Maharaj Prapta Parudra said very humbly, I am most fallen and abominable, and I am unfit to receive an interview with the Lord. One's life is, un, uh, one's life is successful if one engages in his service. Text 24. Arama Kripalu Tenha Rajendra Nandana Onajan Me More Avasya Translation. The king then said, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna, the son of Maharaj Nanda. He is very merciful, and I hope that in a future birth, 
she will allow me an interview. Text 25. Ye tanhara preme arti de kilunto mate, tarae ka prema lesha, nahika amate. Translation. My Lord, I don't think that there is even a fraction of Maharaj Prataparudra's loving ecstasy in me. Text 26. Prabhu kahe tu me Krishna bhakata pradhana tumake ye pratikare sei bhagavan. Translation. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then said, My dear Ramananda Roy, you are the foremost of all the devotees of Krishna. Therefore, whoever loves you is certainly a very fortunate person. Text 27. Tomate ye eta priti haila rajara, e igune krishna tanre, karibe angitara. Translation Because the king has shown so much love for you, Lord Krishna will certainly accept him. Purport King Prapta Parudra requested an interview with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through the Bhattacharya, who duly submitted the request. The Lord, however, The Lord, however, immediately refused this interview. Now, when Ramananda Roy infer informed the Lord how eager the king was to see him, the Lord was immediately pleased. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested Ramananda Roy to retire from his government post and come to Sri Purushottamakshetra, Jagannath Puri, to live with him. When this proposal was submitted to King Prapta Purudra, he immediately accepted it and also encouraged Ramananda Roy by allowing him a full pension. This was very much appreciated by the Lord, and this confirms the fact that the Lord is more pleased when one serves the servant of the Lord. In ordinary parlance, it is said, If you love me, love my dog. To approach the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one has to go through his confidential servant. This is the method. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu clearly says, because the king loves you, Ramananda Roy, he is very fortunate. Krishna will certainly accept him due to his love for you. Text 28. Translation. Lord Krishna told Arjuna, those who are my direct devotees are actually not my devotees, but those who are the devotees of my servant are factually my devotees. Purport. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu quotes this verse from Adi Purana. This verse is also included in the Lagu Bhagavatamrita 2.6. Texts 29-30. Tara Pari Chara Yamam Savan Gair Abhi Vandanam Madhvata Puja Vyadhika Sarva Bhuteshu Manmati Mad Artesiv Anga Chestacha Vachasa Mad Guneranam Mai Aparam Cha Manasa Sarva Kama Vivarjanam Translation My devotees take great care and respect in rendering my, my service. They offer obeisance to me with all their bodily limbs. They worship my devotees and find all living entities related to me. For me, they engage the entire energy of their bodies. They engage the power of their speech in the glorification of my qualities and form. They also dedicate their minds unto me and try to give up all kinds of material desires. Thus, my devotees are characterized. Purport. These two verses are quoted from Srimad Bhagavatam, 11.19.21-22. through 22. They were spoken by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, who was answering Uddhava's inquiry about devotional service. Text 31. Aradhanam Aradhananam Sarvesham Vishnur Aradhanam Param Tasmat 
Parataram Devi Hariyanam Samarchanam Translation Lord Shiva told the goddess Durga, My dear Devi, although the Vedas recommend worship of demigods, the worship of Lord Vishnu is topmost. However, above the worship of Lord Vishnu is the rendering of service to Vaishnavas, who are related to Lord Vishnu. Purport. The Vedas are divided into three divisions, Karmakand, Jnanakand, and Upash Upashanakand. These are activities dealing with fruit of work, empiric philosophical speculation, and worship. There are recommendations in the Vedas for the worship of various demigods, as well as Lord Vishnu. Lord Shiva answers Durga's question in this quotation from Padma Purana. This verse is also included in Lagu Bhagavatamrata 2.4, Vaishrila Rupa Goswami. The words Vishnur Aradhanam refer to the worship of Lord Vishnu, or Krishna. Thus, the supreme form of worship is the satisfaction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. It is further concluded that the worshipper of Lord Vishnu renders better service by worshipping the devotee of Lord Krishna. There are different types of devotees, those in the Shantaras, Dasyaras, Sakyaras, Vatsalyaras, and Madhuryaras. Although all the rasas are on the transcendental platform, the Madhurya Ras is the supreme transcendental mellow. Consequently, it is concluded that the worship of devotees engaged in the Lord's service and the Madhurya Ras is the supreme spiritual activity. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his followers mainly worship Lord Krishna in the Madhurya Ras. Other Vaishnavacharyas recommended worship up to the Vatsalya Ras. Therefore, Srila Rupa Goswami, in his Vidagda Madhava 1.2, Describes Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's cult as supreme. Anar Pita Charim Chirat Karuna Avitirahan Kalau Samar Paitam Unat Javala Rasam Sva Bhakti Shriyam. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this age of Kali to exhibit the super excellence of the Madhurya Ras, a gift never previously bestowed by any Acharya or incarnation. Consequently, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is accepted as the most magnanimous incarnation. It is he only who distributed love of Krishna while exhibiting the super excellence of loving Krishna in the conjugal rasa. Text 32. Dorapahi, Alpa, Tapasa, Seva, Vaikunta, Vartmasu, Yatro, Pagyate, Nityam, Seva, Devo, Janardana. Translation. Those whose austerities is meager can hardly obtain the service of the pure devotees progressing on the path back to the kingdom of Godhead, the Vaikuntas. The pure devotees engage 100% in glorifying the Supreme Lord, who is the Lord of the demigods and the controller of all living entities. This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam 3.7.20. This was spoken by Vidura in his conversation with Maitreya Rishi, a great devotee of the Lord. Text 33. Translation. Paramananda Puri, Ramananda Bharati Goshani, Swarup Damodar Goshani, Lord Nityananda, Jagadananda, Mukunda, and others were present before the Lord at that time. Text 34. Chari Gosha Nera Kaila Raya Chara Navandana Yata Yogya Sabha Bhaktera Karila Milana. Translation. Sri Ramananda Roy therefore offered his obeisances to all the Lord's devotees, in particular to the four spiritual masters. Thus, Ramananda Roy suitably met all the devotees. Purport. The four spiritual masters referred to in this verse are Paramananda Puri, Ramananda Bharati, Swarup Damodar, and Lord Nityananda. Text 35. Rabhu Kahe Raya, Dekhile Kamala Nayana, Raye Kahe Ebayai, Abhadarashana. Translation. 
Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu next asked Ramananda Roy, Have you already visited the temple of the lotus-eyed Lord Jagannath? Ramananda Roy replied, I shall now go visit the temple. Text 36 Prabhu kahe raya tumi ki karya karile Ismare na de ki kene age e kailae Translation Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, What have you done, my dear Roy? Why did you not first see Lord Jagannath and then come here? Why have you come here first? Text 37 Raye kahe chara narata vridaya sarati Nahan la naya yatahan naya jivarati Translation Ramananda Roy said the legs are like the chariot, and the heart is like the charioteer. Wherever the heart takes the living entity, the living entity is obliged to go. Purport In Bhagavad Gita 18.61, Lord Krishna explains, Isparaha sarva bhutanam rudveshe ruja tistati Ramayan sarva bhutani yantra rudhani mayaya the Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, O Arjuna, and is directing the wanderings of all living entities, who are seated as on a machine made of material energy. Thus, the living entity wanders within this universe, riding upon a chariot, the body, bestowed by material nature. A similar explanation is given in the Katha Upanishad 1.3.3 and 4. Atmanam Rahitam Vidhi Sariram Vata Eva Tu Budhim Tu Saratim Vidhi Mana Paragraham Eva Cha Indriyani Haya Nohor Visham Stesu Gocharan Atmindriya Mano Yutam Bukketi Ahur Manishnaha The individual is the passenger in the car of the material body, the intelligence is the driver. Mind is the driving instrument, and the senses are the horses. The self is thus the enjoyer, or the sufferer, in the association of the mind and senses. In this way, it is understood by great thinkers. Thus, the living entity is the charioteer, and the body is the chariot offered by material nature. The mind is the reins controlling the horses, and the senses are the horses. Thus. The living entity is the false enjoyer of the material world. One who is advanced in Krishna consciousness can control the mind and intelligence. In other words, he can control the reins and the horses, the senses, even though the horses are very powerful. One who can control the senses by his mind and intelligence can very easily approach the Supreme Personality of Godhead, or Vishnu, who is the ultimate goal of life. Those who are actually advanced approach Lord Vishnu, their ultimate goal. Such people are never captivated by Lord Vishnu's external energy, the material world. Text 38 Translation, Sri Ramananda Roy continued, What shall I do? My mind has brought me here. I could not consider going first to Lord Jagannath's temple. Text 39. Translation, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu advised, Immediately go to Lord Jagannath's temple to see the Lord. Then go home and meet your family members. Text 40 Prabhu Aja Panaraya Chavila Darashane Rayera Prema Bhakti Riti Buje Punjane Translation Having received Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's permission, Ramananda Roy hastily went to the temple of Lord Jagannath. Who can understand the devotional service of Roy Ramananda? Text 41. Chetreyasi Raja Sarva Goma Kola Ila Sarvambo Mena Maskari Tanhare Puchila. 
Translation. When King Praptaparudra returned to Jagannath Puri, he called for Sarvambhoma Bhattacharya. When Bhattacharya went to see the king, the king offered him respects and made the following inquiries. Text 42. Moralagi Prabhupade Karleni Vedana Sarvabhoma Kahe Kenu Aneke Yadana Translation The king asked, Have you submitted my petition to the Lord? Sarvabhoma replied, Yes, with much endeavor I have tried my best. Text 43 Tatapina Kare Tenha Raja Dharashana Translation Yet despite my great endeavor, the Lord would not agree to see a king. Indeed, he said that if he were asked again, he would quit Jagannath Puri and go elsewhere. Text 44 Translation Hearing this, the king became very unhappy and greatly lamenting began to speak as follows. Text 45 Translation The king said, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended just to deliver all kinds of sinful, low born persons. Consequently, he has delivered sinners like Jagai and Madai. Text 46 Prapta Parudra Shadi Karive Jagat Nistara Ehi Pratijana Kari Avatara Translation Alas, has Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu incarnated to deliver all kinds of sinful, uh, all kinds of sinners, with the exception of a king named Maharaj Praptaparudra? Purport: Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission is thus described by Narottam Das Thakur: Patita pa vanahetu tava avatara, mo sama patita prabhu na paive ara. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to reclaim sinners, then one who is the most sinful and low-born is the first candidate for the Lord's consideration. Maharaj Praptaparudra considers himself a most fallen soul because he had to deal with material things constantly and enjoy material profits. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's business was the deliverance of the most fallen. How then could he reject the king? The more fallen a person is, the more he has the right to be delivered by the Lord, provided, of course, he surrenders unto the Lord. Maharaj Praptaparudra was a fully surrendered soul. Therefore, the Lord, should, uh, the Lord could not refuse him on the grounds that he was a worldly pounds, shillings man. Text 47 Adarshaniyan api nita jaitin samvik shate hanta tata api nomam madika varjam kripa yish yaiti nirniya kim so vatatara deva. Translation Alas, has Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made his advent deciding that he will deliver all others with the exception of me? He bestows his merciful glance upon many lower class men who are usually not even to be seen. Purport This verse is found in the Sri Chaitanya Chandrodaya Nathika 8.28. Text 48. Translation Maharaj Praptaparudra continued, If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is determined not to see me, then I am determined to give up my life if I do not see him. Purport A devotee with Maharaj Praptaparudra's determination will certainly be victorious in advancing in Krishna consciousness. Sri Krishna confirms this in Bhagavad Gita 9.14.
satatam satatam kirtayanto mam yatantas cha bruha vrata namas yantas cha mam bhaktya nitya yuta upashate text 49 yadi sei maha oh i'm sorry yeah uh Always chanting my glories, endeavoring with great determination, bowing down before me, these great souls perpetually worship me with devotion. These are the symptoms of a Mahatma engaged in the Lord's service in full Krishna consciousness. Thus Maharaj Prapta Parudra's determination is very exalted and is called Dridhavrata. Because of his determination, he was finally able to receive Lord Chaitanya's direct mercy. This ends our reading for today. All glories to Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Pur Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. All glories to Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Nirmalachari Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. All glories to Sri Pad Bhakti Nishkamashanta Maharaj Ki Jai. All glories to Sri Pad Bhakti Vijani Muni Maharaj Ki Jai. 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 Jai.